I, I said at the top of the uh, of our coverage that this felt like Groundhog Day. We're going to hear the same arguments all over again. I thought that was kind of true uh, with Jerry Nadler, but I think Sylvia Garcia, who she's been talking now for more than an hour, has really been effective. You can argue whether you agree with her or not, but this is going to be one of the big arguments you're going to hear from the Republicans, the White House lawyers, when they talk, and that is going to be that, well, the president wasn't trying to go get dirt on his political opponent. Joe Biden, he was trying to root out corruption uh, in going after Burisma and, you know, even involved in firing a prosecutor general and also was trying to protect American elections by looking into possible Ukrainian interference in the 2016 election. And what you've heard uh, Congresswoman Garcia from Houston lay out in, in, in quite a lot of detail is exactly why the she argues that it was bogus, the idea that when uh, Joe Biden went to Ukraine in 2015 and got them to fire Shokin, that he was trying to cover up for his son. In fact, uh, she makes the case that it was an international movement, a European movement, because Shokin was a corrupt uh, operator himself. And then now taking on the issue of whether or not it was Ukraine that was involved in interfering in the election or whether in fact it was Russia and that Russia put out the Ukraine story as disinformation. Now, you know, I'm sure some people are going to see, I think, where are we here? Are we, Seth? Oh, we're taking a break. Okay, okay. we're taking a break.